Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel for today's Friday Flip Day. This is going to be a very fun one. For the last month, my husband and I have been going crazy renovating our 1920s church bell tower. I got so much content for you guys and for today's episode, it's all on the demolition. That makes me so curious. There's more of that. Well, that's not creepy at all. <laughs> How deep does it go? Oh my word, it goes all the way down. Nice insulation. Yeah. Use it for the bus floor. I know, I was just gonna say we could use it for the bus. That would work so well. I did not know it was this color. This one has a little owie, but we didn't do it. That's pretty neat. That's really unique. That one is so beautiful. Wow. There's so many fun things you could do with this though. I love the colors. I'm always nervous for like what's behind the next piece. Oh my! Oh boy. What do you guys do for fun? This is what I do for fun. I drag my husband with. What's the bag in the wall for? I don't know. Keep that from moving, I guess. <laughs> That's what this church is standing on. We like to do a guessing game to see what we spend and who can get the closest. I think it's 155. I'm guessing 175. Uh, 180 for 20 <gasps> We're back up in the bell tower. We're ready to do some work on this here ceiling. We gotta fix some boards that are clearly falling down. I'm gonna try to scrape some of the paint off, clean it up. And it's chilly, so I've got some layers on. I also have my hood tied so that things aren't falling onto me. Overall, it's not gonna look perfect, but it's gonna be good enough. <laughs> I'm aware that last time probably wasn't smart to not be wearing a mask, so we are today. So I just wanna fill you guys in on a little bit of how these Friday flip days are gonna work. There's going to be multiple episodes of these coming out, and you might be a little confused, but these are throughout multiple days. This is not in one day, and that's how quite a few of them will be. We're taking everything off of this wall. We're gonna insulate and then do be board over it. Dominic is going to start screwing up the ceiling while I work on this. This was so fun. It genuinely felt like therapy. I was being so gentle at first, which just cracks me up. But I pretty quickly realized you really had to be hard on it to get anything done. Yeah, a little section. Let's go. As you can see, there's no insulation in this wall, nor any of the walls for that matter, because it is just a bell tower, so it wasn't necessary. However, there is a lot of drafty air coming through. So we are going to put insulation in just this wall later on. We're not tearing down any other walls, so we'll only need it in this one. And it did end up making a big difference, so that's good. Honey, Kathy would freak out if she saw this. projects today we got quite a bit done in the bell tower i only cleaned off the ceiling and then we have to figure out a different way to brace things up because what we thought would work wasn't working very well so we went on to other things we got everything that has to be thrown away 
that needed to be so-called demolished. So that's exciting. So tomorrow we have to go get our dump trailer from our parents and bring it to the incinerator. All that good stuff. I haven't eaten my banana yet. Then the show will go on and I'm very excited. Alrighty guys, see ya next time I see ya. It's the next day, we're getting the dump trailer, and yes, there is snow, but that is because this was filmed a while back. So just remember that when you see snow in the future videos. Our strategy for this was to take out all of the boards first, and then we had two little bins that we were putting the smaller stucco into. We were just chucking the boards out the window, Dominic would put them into the trailer as I threw them out the window. And then after that, then we continued to scoop up all of the smaller stucco that fit in the bins better. And we would just haul those down the stairs. I scooped into the bin as Dominic took it down. So the reason that we are only taking this wall down is because it was really the only one that was completely falling apart. And that's why the insulation was on the outside of it when we bought the place, just to keep things from falling down. All the other walls are gonna be pretty easy to repair. Overall, we will have to do stucco where the windows used to be and now there's just insulation there. So we'll be doing slats and stucco for that. And there's a few areas every now and then in the walls that we'll need to patch with stucco. But for the most part, we can use silicone and paint and it can really be patched up pretty good just like that without having to tear out the whole wall. We got so much progress done. Wow. So nice. The last bucket going down. You don't want my help? That's what independence looks like. This is what no independence looks like. <laughs> This is what happens when you forget to close your window and you have a snowstorm the next day or through the night, I should say. Oops. We're just gonna shut that before we forget again. We are back at it and today we are going to do some insulation in this wall. We're going to use loose insulation that we already had, put it down in all of these openings, and then we're going to use a big roll of insulation in between all of these beams. We did shovel out all the snow and then put a space heater in there and everything dried up really quick so it wasn't a big deal, but it was pretty comical that while all our neighbors were shoveling their sidewalks, I was shoveling snow out of our window. Dominic was doing the slats over the windows while I was doing the insulation, and this is where we are going to stucco over. It might look a little weird as far as spacing right now, but we are planning on putting very small chicken wire over it, so the slats are really just for better bracing. For this whole renovation, we're really trying to do things as cheap as possible. We also don't know how to do everything, but we're learning as we go. I never want to not do something just because I don't know how to do it because I would never learn and I really do enjoy doing this stuff so I just know that it's going to take some time there's going to be imperfections but also I've learned a lot through our other renovations and sometimes it's not great and then sometimes it's really great and as we go we get better and we learn. Our overall goal for our bell tower is just to get it looking nice so that we want to be up here. It's a nice added space to our home. And instead of it being gross and untaken care of and never going in it, we have a really unique and fun added area to our home. And I know we're gonna use it so much. We ran out of the good stuff. So we used what we had for free. And it's gonna be better than nothing. And if you are a perfectionist, you probably just shouldn't watch any of my renovation vlogs. Just saying. <laughs> so later that day, my dad came to do some electrical work just in the area where we tore down the wall. My dad has helped us on so many of our projects. He's always done our electrical work for us and he does a super good job at it. He is a licensed electrician along with my brothers. So it works out really well that he can do it for us and he is so kind and all he asks for is pizza every time he does it for us and that's what he gets afterwards. But we do make sure to give him a little extra cash, but he is very sweet about it. While he was doing the electrical
electrical. Dom and I took out this old ductwork that was no longer being used so we could get it out of the way. We already had a light, so we just added three outlets, two in the wall and one in the shelf. You want I'm trying me to show stick you something. Okay, there? okay, don't stick your head in there. I'll stick my head in there again. Let's play a game. Where's Dad's head? <laughs> this looks really fun. Getting to do this with my dad has always been special bonding time and I'm really thankful for the time he takes to actually show me how to do this stuff. And the pizza of course means we are finished with our work for the day. So I'm going to wrap it up here but in the next episode we're going to be installing our paneling walls and almost had to quit renovations due to a horrible surprise. I post new Friday flip day videos every other Friday so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of them and we will see you in the next one.